So we've covered quite a bit so far, and we've already looked at the parts of our quad, our radio, the setup of our radio. We know what tools we need. We know how to assemble the quad and how to lay the parts out properly. And we know a bit about soldering as well. And now we're getting to the exciting part where we connect all the parts to our flight controller like our camera, VTX, receiver and GPS. So we're going to solder these peripheral components to our flight controller, the camera, the VTX, the receiver and the GPS. And we're going to solder the motor wires to the ESC and we're also going to solder an XT60 battery lead to the ESC as well. Now to solder all these components we need to know what's going to connect to what. And for this we need to look at the wiring diagrams as we need to know how to read them. And don't worry, it looks a little bit scary to begin with, but it's actually really easy. Let's look at the flight controller, or FC first, as we'll be connecting all our parts to this. We'll look at this first as a complete picture, okay, and then we'll look at each of the individual components in more detail to see the wiring connection. And once you become familiar with the layout of a flight controller, and what is soldered to where, which I'll be making it easy for you to understand, you'll be able to apply the same principles and build any FPV quad in the future, and read the diagrams. Remember that we've been through the main parts themselves, the camera, VTX, receiver and GPS, and what they do. And if you do need to go back and review what they do, just go back to the lesson on parts of your quad and watch that video again. Okay, so let's get ready, and don't worry, it's all going to become clear after this lesson. So here we have the Mamba F722 flight controller with all the parts that are going to connect to it. And bear in mind that we'll I'll have links in this lesson and in the resources to all of these wiring diagrams. And I've highlighted the main parts that we're going to connect here. So starting on the left here, we've got our receiver, which is our TBS Crossfire Nano. Then at the top, going in clockwise direction, we've got the camera. Then we've got our VTX or video transmitter. And down at the bottom here, we've got the GPS. Now, looking at this VTX, we, we actually always need to refer to the specific um, wiring diagram for the VTX that we're going to use. And we're using the TBS Unify Pro, which in fact doesn't use 5 volts. Okay, you'll see that this is a different VTX here. So, and this one is saying that it uses 5 volts. But we need to be careful here because the VTX we're using, as you'll see in a minute, requires more than 5 volts. So it's actually not going to go to this port here as it, as it signifies, as it indicates here. It's going to have to go to a 9 volt pad. Okay, we'll have a look at that in a minute. And as you'll see, there's a common theme throughout all these parts that they have a power and a ground. Okay, so 5 volts here, 5 volts and ground. This VTX is using a 5 volts and ground here, and the GPX also uses a 5 volt and ground. Now, they also have um, telemetry ports, a uh, camera slightly different and, and the VTX slightly different because um, they have other things, but they also have telemetry, what we call telemetry ports here, which are TX and RX ports. We'll talk about those in a minute. So let's first have a look at the receiver, uh, which is, as we said, our TBS Crossfire Nano. Um, and as we know, it has a 5 volts in port, which will go to the 5 volts on our, um, our as we've just seen <clears throat> in our wiring diagram. So you need to follow this, this general uh, principle first, that this camera is going to connect over to this part, this uh, VTX is going to connect over to this part, the GPS is going to connect over to this part, and, and so on. So looking at this in more detail, uh, as I say, 5 volts to 5 volts, ground to ground here, and um, it has two ports which connect to a receive and a um, transmit. So RX is receive, TX is transmit, and this provides what we call telemetry, telemetry data such as signal strength, known as RSSI, 
battery voltage, current draw, uh, all useful stuff which will be displayed in your uh, on-screen display in your goggles as we fly. Um, so just remember in this case we've got channel 1 which goes to, it's green so it's going to go to the RX port and channel 2 here uh, goes to the TX port and if we looked at the, uh, if you will look at the TV, uh, TVS Crossfire Nano you'll, you'll see that that's what, what it will tell you generically whatever flight controller you're using. Okay. So moving in our clockwise direction, we've got the camera here. This is the Runcam Phoenix Phoenix 2. Um, and again, the wiring is pretty straightforward. We've got 5 to 36 volts, so we can power that up uh, with that port there. The 5 volt ground goes to the ground. And the video goes to the camera port here. Okay. So this is all obviously very near. This is your, your um, flight controller facing forwards. You've got your USB on the right here um, and the camera is going to be situated in front of you here. So that, that's why it's basically on, uh, in this section of the flight controller. So let's look at the VTX uh, diagram in more detail. And here uh, we have the TVS. Uh, Unify Pro and as I said you have to be a little bit careful with uh, with these peripherals and just check the voltage um, especially for VTXs which often require more than 5 volts here you can see it's 7 volts to 26 volts so instead of what we saw in the uh, flight controller diagram where it's telling us that this VTX here uh, is a 5 volt one and would connect to the 5 volt port over here okay we're actually going to need to connect this to the 9 volt port over here on the outside you can also connect uh, a VTX to your main battery leads um, at the rear of the ESC where the battery uh, pigtails connect um, just bearing in mind the, the, the voltage required but Generally speaking, you're going to be safe if you if you wire up to whatever uh, is within the range of that VTX um, to your flight controller. So you've got power, you've got ground going to ground, um, and again we have a, a a video signal. It needs a video signal, and that will go to your VTX port over here. This one at the bottom and for telemetry we've got the data you can see this little data thing goes to here and that will go to your tx3 transmit port 3 and again we'll we'll know that in beta flight that we're going to be using uart 3 for our um, for our vtx and lastly we have the gps which of course we know is optional anyway um, and this has similarly 5 volts to 5 volts, ground to ground, and we've got uh, RX going to TX, and that's going to number 5 here, which is TX2, and TX goes to RX, and it's t telling us it, it's, it's 6, so we're going to wire these up to, the TX is going to go to um, the TX is going to go to RX2 and the RX is going to go to TX2 here. Okay, now you can use any uh, TX, available TX or RX pad uh, on your flight controller, so you could um, theoretically uh, wire up to these instead um, and configure it uh, accordingly in beta flight. Um, but we'll do as it says here, and we're just going to go for uh, TX2 and RX2 on these pads here. Yeah, as I say, just remember, always remember that uh, an RX on a peripheral will go to a TX and a TX goes to an RX port on the flight controller. And that's it, it's that simple. Um, it's, uh, it looks scary to begin with, but it, it's actually not. I mean, always have a look at the, the main diagram first uh, check out what you're what you're uh, going to be connecting. You're always going to be connecting a receiver and a camera and a VTX 
and you might be connecting a buzzer or uh, LEDs okay there's a buzzer you'll, you'll know to connect that to wherever uh, if you're using LEDs you'll connect it to these ports here uh, and so on okay so um, yeah let's go and wire them up now <laughs> 